Seismic arresters are rectangular structural components mounted on the pier caps. They are primarily responsible for the dissipation of seismic forces on the bridge pier. To study it in detail, let us take a single span box girder viaduct resting on a pier. A seismic arrestor is characterized by its function to bear the impact of seismic forces. There may be three kinds of seismic arresters based on the direction of forces it bears. There are two directions in which they resist the seismic impact. In case of arresters designed for box girders, they resist impact in both the longitudinal as well as transverse directions. Let us separate the pier from the viaduct and look at the seismic arrestor. As you observe, these members are dimensionally elongated along the direction of traffic movement. Its position is mostly centrally located on the pier surrounded by the bearing pedestals. The yellow boxes on the member are the vertical bearings. These vertical bearings act as the primary interface between the girders and the seismic arrestor. When you look at the end segment box girder, it has a vertical notch that pounds on the arrestor in the instance of transverse forces. This notch, at the soffit of the box girder in the end segment, adjusts itself to the arrestor dimensions with a minimum clearance of 50 mm up to 150 mm. The design of such a seismic arrestor is based on the shear span in both directions. This is how a transverse arrestor behaves under seismic forces with box girders. Since spans on either sides will transfer forces to the pier, Two end segments will pound the arrestor from both the directions. Now, let us look at another type, where we have I-section girders. I-sections may either be of steel or concrete PSC. In the case of an arrangement of I-section girder, two seismic arrestors are used. Hence, there will be one seismic arrestor for each force direction. Each of the span might have a singular arrangement of transversely resistive arrestors and one or two common longitudinal arrestors. As you observe, the diaphragm at the end is designed with a notch, which is protruding downwards. This notch transfers the forces to the bearing pedestals on either sides. In this case, the bearing pedestals behave as transverse arrestors. This is how the notch impacts the pedestals. The end diaphragm also transfers force to both the longitudinal arrestors simultaneously. This is how the longitudinal seismic arrestor behaves under impact of the diaphragm. In our next video, we will look at the design calculations for both the types of seismic arresters in detail. If you like the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.